Ohio's unemployment rate jumped to 7.4% in August, its highest in 16 years. The Real News traveled to Stark County, Ohio, to gauge the severity of the economic crisis in this battleground state, which may once again determine the election. Things ain't, ain't real good around here, especially in Ohio. It's been like this for about six, seven months at the very least. No job, living around on food stamps, having to do a uh, uh, plasma center for uh, money to pay my bills. That's about it. Everything is a ripple effect. Something closes, something else closes down, you know. It's just the way it keeps on doing. A friend of mine just I, was talking to me. He does uh, like uh, day labor stuff. Yeah. Heck, he wasn't even able to work last week because of stuff, and that's day labor. You see what I'm saying? So, that's yeah. just... Have people been laid off? And did you know if people are Laid there? off, fired, if you want to call it that. My father, he, he was working at the Hoover Company, and I don't know if you guys heard about that, but um, the Hoover Company got shipped to China and Mexico. So, he lost his job, and now, he was making like, I don't know, 20 some dollars an hour there. And he was barely supporting our family. Then we have a six person family. And he can't find a job that'll pay that around here anymore. So he's going elsewhere. We need more jobs. We keep sending them out to other countries. You know, I know, I know a lot of guys have been working in factories for 30, 40 years. And then someone's going, oh, sorry, see you later. You know, like my grandpa worked at the Ford company down here in Canton for 35 years. And they're threatening to take his pension away from him. You know, and he, he has no way to make money. He had a stroke, he can't work. You know, my grandma has medical problems, she can't work. My dad can barely afford, you know, feeding the family. So it's like, you know, what are you gonna do for middle class? You know, the rich people are all fine. The guys that make good money, they're all fine. But what about poor people? Or the middle class, blue collar, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, no, I, on, on a personal level, I can't really relate to that. I mean, relate to the fact that I've had any family members that have, um, that have lost their positions. Um, although, I mean, in my position in banking, I know a lot of clients that are uh, having some tough times. Um, several of my friends, you know, they've got laid off and everything. And, you know, they've had to move in with families to kind of um, reduce on payments and whatever they have to do. Several people had to file bankruptcy that I know. Some people have lost their houses, you know, for foreclosing and everything. I'm a bankruptcy lawyer and I see many people every day getting hit by this economic crisis. People are hurting right now, yeah. And they're scared to spend money. I think in the storage we'll start seeing more and more sales trying to give things away because um, my reaction or my, my uh, observation is that people don't have the same money or they're, if they have it, they're afraid to spend it right now. I mean, it's, it's harder to get jobs. I know people that got their social security cut off and it's kind of hard out here for people right now. Uh, because of the gas prices, everything's so high, the food's gone up. I mean, everything is going up. And, then, you know, everybody's got to be worried about their jobs. I think everybody's been affected. It all depends on how you let it affect your mind and body and soul. And I mean, you know, it doesn't bother me a bit. I mean, uh, God's in control of everything, so I have no worries. I know of some people uh, that work for uh, Wachovia. I know people that work for WAMU. And uh, I know some people that work for Lehman Brothers. Uh, my future uh, son-in-law, uh, he was a hedge fund dealer. Of course, I can't give his name, but uh, uh, it hurt him really bad. I'm not involved with the stock market anymore. I uh, liquidated all my stocks and bonds and uh, 401ks and stuff, uh, and I'm glad I did. And I did this about five years ago uh, when the market took a plunge, you know what I mean, especially the tech stocks. I had a lot of tech stocks, and I, and, uh, I really <clears throat> lost, I lost a lot of money on the tech stocks. So we liquidated what we had, and we just went ahead and uh, uh, cashed them in, and and paid taxes on them like anybody else would, and we're out of it all together. So it really didn't uh, phase me that much, you know, but these young kids today and uh, that are coming up uh, that uh, uh, <clears throat> know right off that they're not gonna have a uh, retirement plan, you know, Social Security and that. 
I, I think I've been one of the lucky ones, you know, that I did that it didn't lose my life savings, you know. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Have you decided who you want to vote for? Uh, actually, Obama. 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 That'd be Obama. Uh, John McCain. The one that's on the side of God the most, McCain. Um, I believe I would vote for Obama. I'd vote for Obama. That would be Obama and Biden.